Here's your wrestling news for May 18th, 2022. And your headlines for today include, Sasha Banks reportedly has backstage heat after walking out on WWE Raw, considered diva marks within WWE after Raw walkout. Sasha Banks unfollows WWE, Vince McMahon, and others on Twitter. Shayna Baszler drops interesting message about Sasha Banks and Naomi amid fallout with WWE. AEW wrestler shows huge support for Sasha Banks after WWE Raw walkout. AEW star blasts journalists for invoking race in Sasha Banks' Naomi controversy. WWE booked Becky Lynch segment on the fly after Sasha Banks and Naomi walked out on Raw. Cody Rhodes attacked after WWE Raw goes off the air. Two released WWE stars returning to ring after hiatus. Vince McMahon banned WWE superstar from using Shooting Star Press. Paige keeps teasing her WWE in-ring return. We are kicking off today with the Sasha Banks and Naomi saga after the two walked out during this week's Raw. A lot has been said about the two, who were meant to compete in a six-pack challenge in the main event, but now we have a clearer timeline of what transpired. Thanks to Mike Johnson of PW Insider, we know that the original plan was for the six-pack challenge to determine a new number one contender for Raw Women's Champion Bianca Belair, and the match was meant to be won by Naomi. It's unclear if she was supposed to pin Banks or not, but Johnson adds that an angle would have been shot on SmackDown that would have seen the boss challenge new SmackDown Women's Champion Ronda Rousey. Both Naomi and Banks were planned to lose to the respective champions, and with the pair not liking the idea, they voiced their concerns to the powers that be. At one point, a match was reportedly pitched that would have seen Banks and Naomi face Nikki A.S.H. in Dewdrop, but it was during the show that WWE producer Molly Holly confirmed to the champions that the six-pack direction was the match WWE was going with and that Naomi would be winning. Shortly after Banks and Naomi were told of the plan, they visited John Laurinaitis to tell him they were leaving, which is when they left the women's tag titles behind, and McMahon found out just after the show went on the air. The ironic part of all this is that while Banks has been one of the biggest supporters of the women's tag team division, this is perhaps the most notable thing to happen over the past three years, but Banks and Naomi may not be holding those titles for much longer. It's very rare for something like this to happen, and while Banks may believe her actions were noble, that's not how the locker room sees it. Banks walked out believing that the women's tag team division and its champions aren't being treated with respect, but according to Dave Meltzer, she's earned significant heat backstage. On Wrestling Observer Radio, Meltzer said how those who had passed on this information weren't in WWE management, as it would come as no surprise that those in charge aren't happy with her walking out. Instead, this is those below management who aren't happy, though there wasn't any mention of Naomi, so it seems like she doesn't have backstage heat, or at least not as much as the boss. On Wrestling Observer Live, Brian Alvarez added to the report, saying that some choice verbiage has been given to the two following their actions this week. I've not heard from one person, not one, that is sticking up for Sasha and Naomi. And not only are they not sticking up for Sasha and Naomi, but boy have I heard a lot of terms thrown around. Most of them, some derivative of the word mark. A mark to a degree that is unfathomable. I mean, all of it. I haven't heard anyone say anything about Naomi, and she walked out too. It's all about Sasha. I've heard it all, Mark, Diva, and the list goes on and on. There's zero support for Sasha Banks. While Naomi did walk out in solidarity with her partner, it is Banks who made the decision to walk out in the first place, and even if she does return, the women's tag team champion shouldn't expect a warm reception. Fans definitely didn't see this week's walkout coming ahead of time, but it turns out that there had been clues all along. In the days running up to Raw, Banks unfollowed several prominent WWE accounts on Twitter, including WWE, Vince McMahon, Roman Reigns, The Usos, Bayley, Seth Rollins, and Becky Lynch. Now the boss is only following six accounts, with those belonging to Naomi, John Cena, Tamina Snuka, her cousin Snoop Dogg, and two fan accounts. While WWE have issued a statement about the matter, no action has been taken against the reigning women's tag team champions, but while Banks won't be hearing from McMahon on Twitter, we presume she and Naomi will soon see the boss face to face. More from the Sasha Banks and Naomi story now, as plenty of people have weighed in already on their actions, with some taking their side and some thinking they're in the wrong. For the most part, current WWE superstars have kept quiet about the matter, but now Shayna Baszler has commented on what happened. Baszler wasn't booked for the six-pack challenge on Raw, but in a tweet, shared a quote from Lehman Russ, one of the characters from the Warhammer 40,000 series. 
Listen closely, brothers, for my life's breath is all but spent. There shall come a time far from now when our chapter itself is dying, even as I am now dying. Then, my sons, I shall listen for your call from whatever realms of death hold me, and come I shall, no matter what laws of life and death forbid. At the end, I will be there, for the final battle, for the wolf time. Lehman Russ Baszler accompanied it with pictures from her latest encounter with Banks and Naomi. Many have taken this as a pledge of loyalty from the Queen of Spades to the two, and we'll have to see if the former NXT Women's Champion suffers any backlash over this tweet. Almost everyone in WWE have opted not to speak about Banks and Naomi publicly, but FTR's Dax Harwood has nothing but support for their actions. In a tweet, Harwood said that people should always stand up for what they believe in, something that Banks did this week. FTR famously left WWE because they believed the company doesn't take tag team wrestling seriously, and with this week's actions, we doubt Dax or Cash Wheeler's opinions have been changed. A lot has been reported about the actions of Banks and Naomi this week, and not everything has been fair or accurate. When Swerve Strickland showed his support for the tag team champions, sharing three emojis of black fists raised in solidarity, veteran journalist Billy Boddy fired back, saying, Of course it's racial with these people. Body also said that it's the race of the women's tag team champions which is why they aren't being fired, alluding to the idea that WWE is giving the boss and Naomi preferential treatment due to their skin color, and would have fired them by now if they were white. Strickland shot back branding Body a racist journalist, and this is hardly the first time he's angered folks. Ryan Satin of Fox Sports replied saying that Body taunted his fiance after the death of her father, calling him a total scumbag. While Body was once a major figure in wrestling news, he has become a pariah online due to a series of sexist and racist comments over the years, with Swerve Strickland being the latest in a long list of people against him. WWE had advertised a six-pack challenge as Raw's main event before Banks and Naomi walked out of the show, and it was in a segment with Becky Lynch that the match was changed. Confronting Adam Pearce, the match was changed to a singles bout between Lynch and Asuka, and this segment was done entirely on the fly. That's according to Brian Alvarez, who said on Wrestling Observer Live, They shot a quick angle where Becky explains that she saw Sasha and Naomi put their belts on a desk and walk out, and therefore, there can't be a six-pack challenge, and she wants to just be named the number one contender. And Adam Pearce ends up ruling, well, it's gonna be you and Asuka one-on-one, -on -one, and the winner gets Bianca Belair. I don't know this 100%, but the impression I've been given is that neither of them actually had an idea of what was going on, and they were just told, go there and do this quick. Lynch may no longer be the Raw Women's Champion, but she showed how versatile she is doing the in-character segment with very little to no prep time, which will no doubt have won her support at a very unique time in WWE's women's division. This week's Raw was certainly intense to say the least, and the action didn't end after the three-hour broadcast went off the air. After the show, Cody Rhodes went up against Seth Rollins, continuing their feud that started at WrestleMania 38, but before the match, Rollins got some help from his better half. During Cody's entrance, Becky Lynch, who had been in Raw's main event and was heading to the back, tried to attack the American Nightmare with a flurry of punches and kicks. Fortunately for Cody, Lynch was still dealing with the green mist that Asuka had hit her with during Raw and couldn't see where Rhodes was, missing her husband's nemesis with every attack she tried. Not only would Lynch lose her match to Asuka and get green mist from the Empress, but Rollins would go on to lose his post-Raw main event to Cody in what was a very bad night for the husband and wife duo. Last year, both Nia Jax and Lana were cut from WWE and both releases shocked fans. While Lana had been prominently featured on Raw for months, many assumed Jax would be with WWE for life, but now neither woman works for the company. Neither Jax nor Lana have wrestled since their releases in November and June respectively, but now they'll be facing off as part of Wrestling Entertainment Series. The new promotion launched by the Authors of Pain will have their first show on June 4th in Nottingham, England, and Jax and Lana will face off to determine the first WES Women's World Champion. The show will also see the crowning of the first WES World Champion in a match between Adam Schur and Alistair Overeem, as well as matches to determine the inaugural tag team and women's tag team champions. Several former WWE names will be involved, including Killer Cross, Bronson Reed, Kalisto, Oni Lorcan, Fandango, No Way Jose, and others, as WES is certainly bringing star power to their first event in the UK. It's no secret that Vince McMahon loves setting rules and that everyone in WWE has to obey what the boss has to say. 
In the early 2000s, Paul London competed on WWE TV, amazing fans with his high-flying antics, but one move that McMahon didn't want to see was the shooting star press, as London explained on the latest Café de René podcast. Vince was like, if you start doing that move, other guys are going to want to start doing it, and Rey Mysterio is going to start doing it. I was like, Rey's not going to do that. Nobody's going to do that move. It's my finisher. Oh, so you want us to make an exception for you? Jesus Christ, it's like I'm talking to a goddamn mannequin. This conversation happened after a match between London and Nunzio on Velocity, meaning McMahon made sure to watch WWE's C-Show in his never-ending quest for as much control over his company. It was producer Dean Malenko who convinced Vince to reverse the ban, but London will never forget nearly losing one of his most impressive moves based on what the boss thought Rey Mysterio may do. Earlier this week, we reported on Paige, who teased being the manager of Ronda Rousey. While Paige has experience as a manager in the past, briefly aligning herself with the Kabuki Warriors, the former Divas champion is a wrestler at heart, and again has teased her return to the ring. Responding to a fan who pointed out that several of her photos were among the most liked on WWE's Instagram account, Paige told them to imagine a photo of her return. It's been over two years since Paige last appeared for WWE and nearly five years since she last wrestled, but these lengthy hiatuses won't stop the anti-diva dreaming about lacing up her boots again. Well guys, that's our news for today. Please share your comments below. Also hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon to receive all notifications. And as always, thanks for watching.